Jones here, and guys, I am super excited right now because Christmas came a little bit early for me this year as I got a new electric outboard. That's right, I got the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus electric outboard, and this thing is crammed with unique features and details. It's rated at three horsepower. It has an integrated battery into the outboard itself, but the battery is removable. It dropped in the water, the battery actually floats, and shockingly, this thing weighs in at just 42 pounds for the entire setup. There's not another outboard on the market like it, guys, and there's not a better fit for my 12-foot portable John Boat build, the Top Gun Porta John, than the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus. Got my Mountain Dew. Time to get this party started. The Spirit 1.0 Plus electric outboard, the XS actually means extra short. With this outboard, they offer an extra short shaft. And because it's going on my 12 footer, we're running an extra short shaft guys. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man, look at that. The first box I opened up included the Spirit 1.0 Plus electric outboard shaft along with the tiller handle and the propeller already in place. It also included a packet that had the warranty card, some miscellaneous information, and the user manual for the outboard itself, along with two magnetic safeties for the tiller handle and the 12 volt charger that goes along with a Spirit 1.0 Plus battery pack for charging. In the second box I opened up, I found the Spirit 1.0 Plus battery pack. This battery has a 1,276 watt hour battery capacity, which happens to be 25% larger battery capacity than the original Spirit battery while maintaining the exact same weight. And last but certainly not least, the third box included the E-Propulsion travel bag set for the Spirit 1.0 Plus, which included a backpack for the battery pack and an oversized duffel bag for the outboard shaft. Got the old charger unpackaged and we are going to go ahead and charge up the Spirit 1.0 Plus so we can run it. This thing's got overcharging protection, over discharging protection, short circuit protection, over temperature protection, under temperature protection, over current protection, communication function, etc. guys. Plug it in, walk away. It's got a built-in battery management system so you are good to go. All plugged in, outlet, charger, plugs into this port here. It's got a red light, indicates it's charging. When it's green, we're gonna run it and do a demo. Green light is on, so she is fully charged. Let's try her out. Let's break down the specs of the E-Propulsion Spirit 1.0 Plus. The Spirit 1.0 Plus is a 1 kilowatt, 3 horsepower electric outboard that operates on 48 volts. It's brushless, it's direct drive, and it lasts for 20,000 hours without maintenance. It's clean, doesn't require winterization, and runs virtually silent. This is max speed, max throttle, and I want you to hear this thing. ultra ultra quiet the spirit 1.0 plus features all stainless steel connection points on the battery pack which are corrosion resistant the battery is removable from the shaft and i'll demonstrate shortly how the battery actually floats e-propulsion offers the spirit 1.0 plus in three shaft options from long short to extra short and comes equipped with a two blade propeller the digital screen on the tiller handle shows real-time power volts and remaining runtime it also features a magnetic safety that kills power to the outboard once removed. Lastly, with the addition of the external battery cable, you have the option of extending the range and runtime of the Spirit 1.0 Plus by adding a 48 volt external battery. Now we're gonna check the weight of the Spirit 1.0 Plus. Weight is a concern of mine with my new build because it is a portable John boat. So we're gonna check the weight and see what this battery weighs. 19.6 pounds guys on the e-propulsion spirit 1.0 plus battery itself let's see what it weighs with the uh battery attached to the outboard we are no way 42 pounds just as e-propulsion said 
of the weight of the battery with the outboard. Super, super ultra lightweight, guys. Next up, float testing the Spirit 1.0 Plus battery. At my neighbor's house bar in their swimming pool to go ahead and test the Spirit 1.0 Plus battery pack. They say that it floats. Let's check it out. And I'd say it floats, guys. Now, how can I get it back? The e-propulsion travel bag set. Don't leave home without it. Okay, I wanted to show you guys really quickly how the Spirit 1.0 Plus breaks down and goes in the travel bag. Obviously, the battery comes off of the shaft, and then the shaft folds up. The shaft goes in this duffel-style bag, and you'll see you've got a clip and a strap here, clip and a strap here. Outboard goes in, strapped and clipped, strapped and clipped, tight and secure. Flip the bag, zippy, zippy. Grab and go with the handles. Of course, you've got a pouch here for accessories and the e-propulsion logo, both in the cool gray color. Okay, the battery goes in here. Same deal, clip and strap, tight and secure. Flip and zip. You've got a pouch here for accessories. You've got some pouches on the side. You can put drinks and random whatnots. And of course, you've got a handle here and then the backpack straps. It's ultra portable. And when you think about what I'm doing on my channel build-wise, you'll realize why this is a perfect fit. The 12-foot boat build I'm doing, the Top Gun Portage on that goes in the bed of that truck is ultra lightweight, ultra portable, high-performance boat that is meant to go where no other boat can go. Um, my answer to a kayak on steroids in the John Boat form, this outboard checks all the boxes that boat build does. Um, it's ultra portable, ultra lightweight, high performance, unique, um, attention to details, everything e-propulsion has put into this small, lightweight, effective package. It's awesome, guys. Much more future content to come on my channel regarding the Spirit 1.0 Plus. Next time you see this outboard on video, we'll be getting her wet to get an in-depth look at the runtime, speed, and performance of the Spirit 1.0 Plus. Links are in the video description for everything e-propulsion related. Feel free to drop any questions down below in the comments section, and we will catch you on the next one.